Prince Harry's attendance at a World Health Organization, WHO, dinner in New York, honoring survivors of childhood violence, became more notable for his awkward moments and the absence of his wife, Meghan Markle. Her absence raised eyebrows, sparking speculations about the dynamics between the couple and how Harry navigates such formal events without her. The event, meant to celebrate resilience and survival, turned into an uncomfortable spotlight on Harry's struggle with protocol and place among European royalty. The tension reached its peak during an interaction with Queen Mathilde of Belgium. In a moment that caught many off guard, Harry attempted to hug her, seemingly unaware or forgetful of the strict formalities still observed among European royals. Queen Mathilde, adhering to royal protocol, politely declined the embrace, leaving Harry visibly flustered. The photos captured from the moment reflected Harry's discomfort and awkwardness, as Queen Mathilde maintained her poise in an elegant gown, emphasizing the contrast between their demeanors. Harry's appearance at the event was not only marked by the awkwardness of this encounter, but by his overall sense of being out of place. Photographs from the evening show the prince standing awkwardly on the fringes while other dignitaries and attendees engaged with each other. He appeared isolated at times standing alone with an uneasy expression, while others around him mingled comfortably. His body language experts were quick to analyze, with some suggesting that Harry's visible discomfort and isolation could reflect his ongoing struggle with his reduced royal status. Since stepping back from official royal duties, Harry's role in such settings has shifted, and this event highlighted the difficulties he faces in reconnecting with the highly formal and traditional world of European royalty. Adding to the awkwardness was Harry's attire. Known for his more relaxed and formal approach to public appearances, Harry's disheveled look stood in sharp contrast to the dignified elegance of Queen Mathilde and other attendees. While the Queen and others embraced the formal dress codes of the event, Harry's casual style made him seem even more out of place, further reinforcing the sense that he did not quite belong in the world of royalty that he once inhabited. Some critics noted that Harry's lack of attention to such details only exacerbated his sense of exclusion, making him appear more like an outsider than a former prince accustomed to the inner workings of formal royal events. Speculation soon emerged that Meghan Markle's absence from the event might have been strategic. Some suggested that had Meghan attended, her presence could have overshadowed Harry, further diminishing his role and deepening his visible unease. Meghan known for commanding attention at public appearances, could have diverted the focus away from Harry at an event where he already seemed uncomfortable. Whether intentional or not, Meghan's decision not to attend only fueled the narrative of Harry struggling to navigate public life on his own without her by his side. This awkward evening underscored the ongoing challenge Harry faces in adapting to the formal protocols and expectations of royal events. While he has embraced a more casual, laid-back approach to public life in the United States, European royalty remains deeply rooted in tradition and formality, as demonstrated by Queen Mathilde's adherence to protocol. Harry's attempt to straddle these two worlds, one of royal formality and the other of informal modernity, was thrown into stark relief during this dinner, with his discomfort on full display for all to see. The evening left many questioning Harry's future role in royal settings. As he continues to carve out a new identity away from the royal family, events like this one serve as reminders of the complexities he faces in balancing his past as a royal with his present role as a more informal public figure. His body language, his attire, and his awkwardness all pointed to a man who has not quite found his footing in either world.